Hey everyone, welcome back to the beginner series flow. Today we're focusing on a balancing flow. We're introducing to our practice some standing positions that are traditional to the yoga practice. So when you're ready, meet me on your mat. You don't need any props. <laughs> Come to a comfortable seat on your mat. Let's do palms facing down for a grounding gesture. Find some length through your spine. Relax the shoulders. I invite you to close your eyes if you haven't already done so. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill your lungs with air. Exhale, deep breath out. Let's do another deep breath in through the nose. This time fill your belly with air. Fill your lungs with air. Hold the breath at the top. And then exhale, let it all go. Check in with your mind, noticing where your thoughts are wandering. And gently pull them here to the present moment. Let your breath be the anchor to bring your awareness to the present moment. And you know what? If it's not working, that's okay too. What matters is the practice it's that you try and you give yourself a moment to practice that present awareness. Your breath is always consistent. There's always a breath in and a breath out. I invite you to use that as your anchor for today's practice, helping you find balance through the physical side of life. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Open your eyes and let's begin to move. We're starting this practice at the top of our mat, standing up. Feet are hip width distance apart. Bring your hands onto your hips, starting with some squats. So bend your knees, sink your hips back, keep your chest lifted. Stand up, squeeze the glutes forward. Squats and rise up, squat, and rise up. On this next sequence, add the arms, reach your arms down, and then reach your arms up, squat, reach up, squat, and reach up. Last one, squat, and reach up. Bring your hands to prayer heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, watch the palms touch. As you exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lengthen your back halfway. You can bring your hands onto your thighs or your knees to help you find this shape. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Watch the palms touch. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Watch the palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, lower the hands down. Step the left foot back, come into this low lunge. Lower the back knee down, gently lift it up. Lower it back down, lift it up. One more, lower it down and lift it up. Keep it down. We're doing rocking pyramids here, so sink your hips, lift your chest. And as you exhale, rock the hips back, straighten the front leg, peel the toes towards your face. If you have to sit on that back leg, that's okay. It's the start of class, no judgment. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, rock back. Rebend the front knee, reach your hands forward past the front foot, lift the back knee up, step up, into your squatted pose, keeping your chest lifted, okay? Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, squat. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Exhale, squat. Arms come up overhead. Exhale, squat. Lower the fingertips down. Step your right foot back. Low lunge. Front knee over the front ankle. Back knee, tap it down and lift it up. Tap it down. Lift it up. Tap it down and lift it up. Lower the knee down, keep it down. Rocking pyramids, sink your hips, lift your chest. And as you exhale, walk your hands back so you can straighten the front leg, point the toes towards your face. 
If you are feeling tight, back toes can be tucked so you can sit or lean a little more into that back heel. Inhale, come forward. Sink your hips, lift your chest. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, rock back. Rebend the front knee. Lower the hands down. Bring the palms flat. Lift the back knee up. And then step back into your first down dog of the practice. Your body's in the shape of an upside down letter V here. Gaze is at your feet. Heels can touch the mat or not touch the mat. It really doesn't matter at this point. Let's make this a fidgety down dog. So bend one knee at a time as the opposite straightens. Tuning into the calf muscles, the hamstrings. You can pedal out your feet a little bit faster. Great. Now bend both knees. Pivot on the balls of your feet so the heels lower to the right side of your mat. So you're in this like skiing pose and then try to straighten the legs. Awesome, re-bend the knees, pivot so the heels are on the left side and then straighten. We'll call this skiing dog. So take a couple of rounds of skiing dog if it feels comfortable for you. If not, find any other fidgety movements. You can even twerk your dog, did you know that? <laughs> Just bounce on the balls of your feet and shake out the hamstrings. All right, everyone find some stillness here. Hips make the highest point. Chest is pressing back towards your thighs. Inhale, exhale, knees come down as wide as your mat. Untuck your toes, lower your hips to your heels, forehead comes down for child's pose. This is your resting pose. If at any point in the practice you wanna take a break, come into this child's pose. Inhale, look up at your hands. Slide your belly forward, resting into baby cobra. Chest and sternum lift an inch or two. Elbows are pointing towards the ceiling and your neck is long. Exhale, forehead comes down. Inhale, full cobra, straighten the arms. Hips are heavy here. Exhale, forehead comes down. Press your hips back through child's pose. Tuck your toes, lift up into downward facing dog. Inhale, round the back, pull forward plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips up, down dog. We'll call that movement down dog waves. Take three more, moving at your own breath, at your own pace. Inhale, coming forward, plank. Exhale, pressing back up, down dog. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, down dog. Nice. Inhale, pull forward plank pose. Lower the knees down. We'll take a modified chaturanga here. Bend the elbows. Lower your upper body halfway. Inhale, straighten the arms. Come onto the tops of your feet. Press into your feet. Lift your legs. This is upward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips up into downward facing dog. Combine to your tiptoes and slowly walk to the top of your mat, taking your time, really engaging the legs here. Once you get to the top of your mat, bend your knees, bring your belly onto your thighs, like really come close to your thighs here. Grab opposite elbows for ragdoll and just sway your upper body from side to side. Loosely shake your head at yes, shake it no. Shake it maybe, and then release the elbows. Slowly round up to stand, bone by bone. Let your head be the last thing to come up. You can fix your pants, fix your shirt. All right, if you didn't quite make it to the top, make your way there. Hands come to prayer at heart center. Let's begin to move. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, watch the palms touch. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fingertips come down. Step the left foot back. Coming into the slow lunge. Right knee over the right ankle. Lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. Twist. Keep your core engaged to help you find balance here. Lower this right hand down.
step back into downward facing dog inhale exhale child's pose inhale come forward baby cobra exhale come down inhale full cobra straighten the arms exhale forehead comes down press your hips back through child's pose lift up into downward facing dog lift the right leg straight up and back three point dog find your shape here i want you to square off the hips to the mat keep your keep the weight in your hands evenly distributed try to point the right toes to the mat the leg that's up in the air point those toes to the mat now look at the leg you're standing on bend that knee and straighten we'll call these down dog lunges bend and straighten keep that balance inhale bend exhale straighten round the back pull the right knee in towards your nose step the right foot in between your hands lower the back knee down untuck the toes sink your hips forward as you reach your arms up and back for crescent lunge and then exhale lower the hands down to the mat tuck the back toes under lift the back knee up step up into a forward fold inhale lengthen halfway exhale fold inhale reach the arms all the way up overhead watch the palms touch exhale down you go forward fold inhale lengthen halfway exhale fingertips come down step the right foot back low lunge on the left side lift the left arm left arm left arm up towards the ceiling look up at that left hand then lower the left hand down to the mat step back into downward facing dog inhale round the back pull forward into plank pose exhale down dog do those down dog waves like if you're moving through water inhale roll forward plank exhale down dog last one roll forward plank exhale down dog this time come forward plank chaturanga here option to lower the knees down on the exhale lower the body halfway down inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog lift the left leg straight up and back three point dog square off the hips to the mat point the top toes towards the mat oops <laughs> now look at the leg you're standing on bend that knee and straighten two more down dog lunges bend and straighten bend and straighten pull that left knee in towards your nose step this left foot in between your hands back knee lowers down untuck the back toes sink your hips forward reach your arms up and back for crescent lunge inhale exhale hands come down to the mat tuck the back toes under lift the back knee up step up into a forward fold inhale lengthen halfway exhale fold inhale reach some arms all the way up to stand watch the palms touch over your head exhale hands to prayer heart center <sighs> Woo, grab some water if you need to i got mine over here all right back to movement come to the top of your mat hands to prayer at heart center inhale reach the arms up overhead watch the palms touch exhale forward fold so as you the more forward folding and standing we do um, the more you'll feel that these the, the hamstring muscles are being warmed up enough so that you can start to feel them get straighter as you forward fold inhale lengthen halfway exhale hands come down step your left foot back bring your palms flat to the mat step your right foot back let's do another another chaturanga inhale exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog lower the knees down come into tabletop position all right your hands and your knees stay right where they are slide the right foot to the right side of your mat so just literally just moving my foot like that <clears throat> sorry i had to see my back side <laughs> slide the right foot to the right side of your mat this time step the left foot to the back edge of your mat 
Your weight is now in your right hand and your right shin. As you extend the left arm up towards the ceiling, coming into a modified side plank pose. From here, I want you to think about this core. It's the center of your gravity as we are balancing on one side of our body. Take the left arm and circle it out to the top of your mat three times. One, two, and three. Then reverse, go to the back edge first. One, two, and three. Awesome. Float this left leg up and then lower it down. Float it up, lower it down. Remember that core. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. The breath is what engages that core. So float that left leg up. Now we're just balancing on one side. Bend this left elbow so the hand comes behind your head. Take that left elbow and point it to the top edge of your mat so you get this beautiful left side body stretch here. And then exhale, lower this left hand down. Left knee comes down. Take a child's pose. Whew. We're gonna do all that on the left side. So maybe in tabletop position. Slide the left foot to the left. Step the right foot to the back edge of your mat. Lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, modified side plank. I'm sorry, I'm giving you my back. Right arm is reaching up towards the ceiling. Circle that right arm to the top edge of your mat three times. One, two, and three. Circle it to the back. One, two, and three. Keep the right arm up towards the ceiling. As you float the right leg up, inhale, exhale, float it back down. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, float it down. This time, keep the leg lifted as you bend this right arm, uh, right elbow, hand comes behind your head. Draw that elbow to the top edge of your mat. So beautiful stretch alongside the right shoulder is being felt here. And then gently release the stretch. Lower the hand down, lower the right knee down, tabletop position. Take a child's pose for a moment. And sit up into a comfortable seat. Let's just take care of our wrist for a moment. You can shake it out. Do the bird that can't fly. Drying the nails. All right, interlace your fingers and draw figure eights. And then reverse the direction. Release the palms, keep the fingers interlaced and then do the roller coaster. And then reverse the direction. It's one of the hardest things you'll do in class. All right, you can shake it out one more time and let's begin to move again. This time, let's come to stand at the top of our mat. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, watch the palms touch. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your back halfway. Exhale, lower the fingertips down. Step your left foot back, left toes back. Low lunge. And then once you have your stability in your legs, rise up into a high lunge. Front knee, no matter what, is over that front ankle. Take your hands onto your hips. Just make sure that you're squared off. Right hip is back, left hip is forward. Arms are by your ears, palms are facing each other. Inhale, exhale, lower the hands down to frame the front foot. Back knee lowers down. Take your hands onto your thigh to help you get up. I'm gonna untuck my back toes for this one. Oh no, keep them tucked, sorry. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Twist over to your right side, and then try to hook this left elbow to the outside edge of the right thigh. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see me as I do this. So we're here, back toes are tucked. Twist to the right, hook your left elbow. If you need to separate your hands to get you there, that's all right. Twist, and if you can't twist today, that's all right, stay here. If you're twisting, press your hands into each other so that your chest 
opens up just a little bit more. So that is option two, if this is option one. Option two, option three, lift the back knee up. Wherever you are, we'll be here for two breaths. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. If you have your back knee lifted, lower it down, untwist yourself. I'm gonna come back this way. All right, so we untwisted ourselves. We're chilling, we're relaxing. Lower the hands down. Tuck the back, toes under, lift the back knee up. Step up, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. Watch the palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fingertips come down to the mat. Step your right toes back, low lunge. Once you have that stability in your legs, rise up, high lunge. Front knee over the front ankle, arms are by your ears, palms are facing each other. Inhale, exhale, hands come down to bring the front foot. Back knee lowers down for a moment. Take your hands onto your left thigh, rise up. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Option one to stay here. Option two, twist to your left, hooking your right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. You can first situate the right elbow first and then situate the left hand to meet the right hand. Once you have this, press the hands into each other so you can twist your chest to the left a little more. Maybe look over the left shoulder. Option to lift the back knee up. We're holding this for one. Two. Lower the back knee down if you have it lifted. Untwist yourself. Lower the hands down. Palms are flat here. Lift the back knee up. Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, child's pose. And when you're ready, meet me in tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Cat-cow breathing here. Inhale, arch your back, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round the back, push the mat away. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round, push the mat away. Last one, inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round the back, push the mat away. Come to a flat back, neutral spine. Here's where we're really challenging our, uh, our center of gravity. So move mindfully here. Extend that left leg back, float it up off of the mat. Extend the right arm forward. Find your breath, make sure you're breathing. Inhale, lift the leg and arm. Exhale, round the back, meet the elbow to knee as you crunch. Inhale, straighten. Bird dog, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, straighten. We're doing something different. Bend the left knee. Flip this right hand to the outside and then swing that arm back. So you grab that left big toe side, the big toe side of the left foot. Once you have a hold of the foot, inhale, kick the foot into the hand so that your chest lifts your legs lift, your left leg lift, or tire. Smile. <laughs> and gently release. Hands come down, knee comes down. Take a child's pose. Woo. We're really challenging our balance here. And you know, life does that to us. One moment we're happy, everything's going well. And the life, the life, the universe, <laughs> throw something into our plans that throws us off whack. So practicing the physical balance of life here is a beautiful practice. Come back into tabletop position. Let's do the other side. Extend the right leg back. Extend the left arm forward. Lift the leg and arm to start. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to right knee to left elbow. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, straighten. 
exhale, crunch. Last one, straighten, bend the left knee, right knee, excuse me. Reach the left hand back for the big toe side of the foot. Kick the foot into the hand as you breathe. Kick, 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 kick. Find the strength here in your stability as you find balance. And gently release, lower the hand down, lower the knee down. Take another child's pose. Awesome, come back into tabletop position. And bring your knees forward, sit on your hips. Take your legs out in front of you. So knees are bent here, lower them out to the sides. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Going into this butterfly stretch here, that we all know it from gym class. So options here, this is entirely up to you. You can take a wide diamond, like a long diamond. If you feel like your hamstrings need more of a stretch, if you're unsure about that, try it. Does it feel good if, as, as you lean forward? Or you can bring your heels closer to your hips and this will give you more of an inner thigh stretch. So Yogi's choice, I'm gonna let you decide. I'm gonna go for an inner thigh stretch. So my heels are gonna stay closer to me. Take your thumbs to the inner arches of your feet, wrap the other four fingers around the foot. Lengthen your spine first. And then as you bow forward, try to keep that length in your spine. You can use your elbows to push the legs down, helping, assisting you in finding this stretch here. Just think chest to toes. And gently come off of the stretch. Extend the legs out in front of you. Shake it out for a moment. Step the right foot to the left side of your left leg. So the right knee is pointing up towards the ceiling. Take your right hand behind you. Lift the left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale. As you exhale, use this left elbow to hook to the outside of the right thigh to help you twist. And as you twist, this is a conscious movement. As each time you breathe in, you're lengthening the spine. And each time you breathe out, you're twisting a little more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Micro movements here. And untwist yourself, come back to center. Extend the right leg out onto the mat. Step the left foot to the outside edge of the right thigh. Left hand comes behind you. Right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, hook that elbow to the outside of the left thigh, assisting you in your twist. And remember micro movements here as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. And untwist yourself gently. Shake it out one more time. Rebend the knees, soles of the feet come down to the mat. Rest your back onto the mat. Going for bridge prep. Arms by your sides, fingertips are grazing the back of your heels here. So draw your hips, draw your heels closer to your hips if you're not touching your heels. Press into your feet, press into your hands, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Lift your chin up so you can breathe. Squeeze the glutes at the top for bridge pose. And gently lower the hips down. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And then windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Come back to center. This time we'll take another round. That same variation or we're going to take it a little deeper. Press into your feet, press into your hands, lift the hips up. You can stay here or roll the left shoulder under, roll the right shoulder under, interlace the hands. Pinkies are touching the mat as your knuckles are reaching towards your heels. Squeeze the glutes a little bit higher towards the ceiling. And gently come down from bridge. Take your feet wide and windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a nice squeeze. And going to happy baby. Take your hands, grab the pinky toe sides of your feet, 
pull the knees in past your rib cage. Soles of the feet are pointing towards the ceiling. So now your arms are on the inside of your legs because you pulled the knees in. You can rock your baby from side to side. And just have fun with it. This is like, in my practice, this pose has, uh, has gone from this is kind of weird to this is kind of fun. <laughs> Roll to the right side, keep your right leg in happy baby and extend the left leg so your legs look like a check mark. Rebend the left knee, rock to the left, extend the right leg so your legs look like a check mark. And then rebend, rock back to center, release the feet to the mat, arms extend out to the sides so it's like a letter T or you can goal post them if you don't have a space. Bump your hips to the right, knees fall over to the left, gazing up towards the ceiling or away from your knees. Option to rest that left hand on the top of the right thigh to hold your knees down. And then come back to center. Bump your hips to the left, knees fall over to the right. Take your right hand onto the left thigh. And come back to center. Extend the legs out onto the mat. Resting your arms by your sides or hands onto your belly for your final resting pose, Shavasana. Before I let you drift off, we'll take a cleansing breath together. And then we'll inhale to count of eight and exhale to count of eight to find that steady rhythm in our breathing and really balance out the energy that flows in and out of us constantly. So if you haven't already done so, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill your lungs with as much air as you can. And then open your mouth, exhale, let it all go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, exhale. These next few moments of class are for you and only you to find some peace in your day and in your heart. Start to deepen your breath making it more audible to you. Reach your arms overhead for one last full body stretch, extending through the toes and the fingers. And then roll over to your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow, coming into a fetal position, just holding onto your Shavasana for just a moment longer. Take this moment to check in with how you're feeling after a practice of yoga. And then send yourself some honor and gratitude for showing up today on your mat. Gently with as little effort as possible, come to a comfortable seat on your mat, bringing your hands to prayer at heart center, bowing your chin to your chest. I want to thank you for allowing me to guide you today through your balancing practice. At the end of every class, I say namaste, which means to you I bow. So with all the love in my heart, namaste. Thank you, everyone.